Well, Washington voters made some important decisions about the future last night. And our uh, Your Voice, Your Vote coverage continues now with Caroline Rourke. She's in the newsroom with a look at those results. Caroline? They need a big couple of days here for Washington and Idaho elections, but not a lot of turnover in the state, federal, and executive races. Bill Bryant had the support of Spokane County, but Governor Jay Inslee will retain his seat by a margin of just about 250,000 votes. Senator Patty Murray is back for a fifth term in Congress, making the WSU graduate one of the longest serving senators in Washington state history. She won her race against Republican challenger Chris Vance with about 60% of the vote. Incumbent Idaho Senator Mike Crapo won his race against Democrat Jerry Sturgill by nearly 260,000 votes. Crapo recently made national headlines for flip-flopping his position on now President-elect Donald Trump. Republican Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers also back for another term. She beat Joe Pacotas with about 59% of the vote. Congressman Raul Labrador, who has been in office since 2011 in Idaho, won his race for the first district with about 71% of the vote. Now check this out, this is really cool. This map from the Spokesman Review shows the stark political contrast between Spokane and Spokane Valley. This is a depiction of the votes for the presidential election, as uh, support for the two major parties divided by almost a straight line between the two cities. Reporting in studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOY4 News.